And so Silverstone is their home race. It's one of the most historic circuits on the F1 calendar, and one that all the teams enjoy racing at. Not only is Silverstone one of the oldest circuits in the Formula One World Championship, but it's also home to some of the most iconic corners, and none more so than Maggots and Beckett's. This is a high-speed sequence of left, right, left, spiking corners that lead into Chapel, and then, of course, the long Mega straight. The high speeds of this sequence demands extreme skill and precision from the driver. Getting this wrong will affect the momentum all the way down the hang straight, which is also with DRS right. Hey, it's KMA. How was your day today? And welcome to the corner. And we are in Silverthorn. And we got to do a, um, we have to practice and, um, get ready for a race, qualifying and all that. So let's, let's get going. Let's learn what this track is all about um i don't know these tracks for the most part and uh this one don't know i might recognize it once i start racing it but as of right the second i have no clue what it's all about There we go. All right. We're probably going to have to. Oh, no, we don't have to change it. Good. Whoa. OK, we got to definitely learn this track. Or re-remember it. I was just stating as soon as I started recording, oh, Gordy, meow, meow, in the other room. Ooh, this looks like an interesting section coming up. Just take it nice and easy. Uh, a little easier than that. Okay, that turn is definitely a turn that's going to um, have to be learned properly. So you can hit that turn just right, I can imagine, and um, catch up on some people. Hmm. Well, this section of the course actually isn't that bad. Because you can almost do it all the way out. Almost. And I, I like sections where I don't have to hit the brakes. <laughs> Just saying. Whew. And this is probably the last turn of the... Uh, race before the first lap, which means it's probably a little bit on the tougher side. Ooh, bottom side of my car is going. What are you doing, man? Oh my gosh! Excuse me, Vettel. Sorry. Don't know where I'm going. I'm American. I'm new. I don't know what the silver thorn thing is. Nah. Plus, my right hand is going to sleep for some reason. Well, I know why. Repetitive motion, but not from racing, that's for sure. Wow, sorry. We're, we're, we're just having some fun. Playing in the grass. Hey, Gordy. My cat doesn't like me playing in the grass. All right. It looks like there's sections in this track where it, I'm not supposed to um, be going as fast as I do. Which means I should be able to really um, I mean, I've already caught up to these guys. Sometimes with the computer racing games, there's... There's a way you're supposed to race the track, and a way you can actually do it 
in the computer game, which is different. And you can always catch up on those corners. And each track tends to have a corner that has that, uh, like, what are you doing? How can you do that? Still tough though, because my right hand is asleep, but that's what I'm using to drive. <laughs> I can't feel my fingers or the buttons. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Thank you, Christmas season. Thank you, delivering 250 packages a day. See, like, I can do that tr turn so much faster, so that's the same place I did before, so I gotta, like, watch out for that corner. Oh. All right. Let's shake my hand out. Hold on. Whew. I was just getting my feeling back in my hand there. I like literally couldn't feel the button, so I had to fix that. Oh. Excuse me. Last time I recorded this, I had the big time sniffles. I don't think I have that now. Um, one thing I, I haven't really been telling people is I, uh, I have really bad sleep apnea, so I stop breathing every night, uh, six to seven times an hour, so I never really catch a good night's sleep, but, um, somehow, I, uh, my insurance has decided to pay for a sleep apnea machine. Okay, hold on one second. Uh, shake my hand out. Oh, come on. One hand. Um, so I sleep with a mask on my face now, and it's really embarrassing. I look like Bane. <laughs> and I'm a scary looking dude at night with the mask on. Um, but, it, but it's helping me out. I'm getting better sleep at night. So it's the best thing. Um, it's amazing. A couple of years ago, I uh, a couple of years ago, I mean, like five years ago, I did the test. And they said, "Oh my God, you're about as bad as it gets with sleep apnea." I'm surprised. Um, you know, you're getting along like you do. But uh, the insurance wouldn't pay for the sleep apnea machine, even though I was stopping breathing. Uh, back then it was more than now because um, I've lost a lot of weight um, So usually the lighter you weigh the less it happens and uh, I'm about a hundred pounds so well, not that much now but gain some weight probably 80 pounds lighter than I was last time I had the test and it's medically it's like um, Something you could die from and even in America, they just won't, they just won't, uh, they don't care. They go, well, you know what, if you want to live, pay $2,500 and you can live. And uh, it's just not in that point to be able to do that, so. But now I have better insurance that actually says, well, you know, if you're going to die, I guess we should pay for it. <laughs> well, well, how generous of you. America's so ass backwards in some things. I wonder how I'm gonna do this so I can actually feel my hand during the race. I like can't even tell if my fingers are hitting the buttons. Ugh. This is gonna be bad. My left hand, the one I'm not using at all, is fine. No! Some, um. I want to start 
racing this track like I'm going to during the race and I can't if I can't feel crap well I don't want to feel crap either that's kind of disgusting but you know what I mean see like that was a perfect turn this is the one I want to learn how to do perfectly No, that's not the one I want to learn how to do perfectly. Yeah, I'm position 16. Come on. Because I haven't been able to do a full lap without having to slow down with my fingers. I'm going to... Um this lap I'm gonna finish out and then I'm gonna uh, well, actually I'm gonna go I guess get some gas shake my hand out so I can actually feel everything on my fingers which I can't at all right now and I don't know where the pit entrance is. Oh, it's coming up. Okay. Whoa. Wait, where's the pit entrance? Oh, shit. Sorry. Bad word. Um, <laughs> I was not looking at me. I was looking at somebody else. I was thinking I was in a different part of the track. All right, after this turn, there's a pit entrance. Pit entrance? Oh, no, 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 pit entrance. Come on. And for real, yes, I'm driving that bad because I can't feel crap out of my hand. Let me get all the blood out of it. Shake, 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 shake your hand. So I need to get like six seconds off of this pace. Ooh. I got my hand up in the air. I'm, I'm waving like I'm on a parade. Hi, I am the beauty of the week. Hi. Thank you to come into this Memorial Day Parade. Fake wave, fake waves. Fake waves. Mm. All right. I'm in 19th, my objective is six, hold on. I'm gonna try and reposition myself in my chair so I can do this better. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's go back to the track. Drive out. Let's see if we can keep my hand from falling asleep so I can do a full lap without having to shake it out. That's gonna be tough for the race. Whew. Shake, 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 shake your hand. All right, maybe I should, uh, no, I can't take Gordy's pillow. I was going to put something in, underneath my wrist so it wasn't, won't fall asleep. All right, let's try a real lap now. DRS automatically. Wow, my tires are not gripping at all. Yeah, whatever. Announcer, I turn you down so much I can't even hear what you're saying, so I don't care. Whoa! Is that cutting corners? 
Hmm. Uh oh. Thirty seconds? No. I need a good lap in here. I don't want to be racing from the back of the field. starting in position 19 oh no wait I haven't done my qualifying lap yet okay I got it I got it I got it I got it I forgot all about that I can come out here and do one lap and hopefully that one lap will be better than all these laps that I've done already that's that's a turn I tend to sneak up on everybody so that's where I'm gonna wipe out if I'm gonna wipe out. Whee! Yeah, I'm racing better than you. I'm not racing better than you. <laughs> yep. Sorry, dude. You didn't need those tires, nor did I. Uh, where am I? Nico. Oh my god. Alright. I'm just gonna have to have a really good qualifying lap. <clears throat> right now my hand is partially asleep. I am refreshed. The British Grand Prix. No, oh, I'm in Britain. That's why it's overcast and dark and yucky. Those people watching this are going, oh my god, how can you not tell that silver whatever is and not in Britain? Uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's why you know what. <clears throat> are you sure I don't need the wet ones? We are in Britain. Let's go to track. All right. Here we go. This is where it counts. Okay, so we got people. Whoa, that's a turn I'm supposed to kick pot on. Oh, gosh, what was that? Ew. Alright, we gotta get better. After this section, I should be okay again. I just gotta make sure I get to the corner the way I like. Yeah. I didn't do the apex like I wanted to there, but... It's not horrible. And remember, these guys all have steering wheels. I, I'm, well, I'm here with the uh, the Waz keys.
Yeah, I'm using every inch of the track and every inch of the other parts too. <laughs> This is the part I thought I was going to uh, have troubles with people. Hmm, I still didn't break 130. <laughs> but he's happy. I wonder what I got. Second or third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth. Ooh. Tomorrow's race? Wait a second. You guys aren't going to see it till next week. For those who are still watching. Um, yes, races will be every Wednesday or every other Wednesday. Haven't decided. Hmm. But anyways, have a great day. This is KMA. Goodbye.